Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescaserakes.com with our last break of the night. 2023-24 Topps Chrome Basketball. Yes, Topps Chrome Basketball. It's back. Three box, pick your team number nine, fresh case and all card chip and you got a chance at the Spurs. So, let's go over, I actually printed out the list way too early. Um, big thanks to everybody who got into the action. Let me alphabetize your names by your first names. So if you bought an even number of teams like Adam did, half of that amount becomes an entry for the Spurs. So Adam got six, that's three entries. Alejandro got two, that's an entry. Brett got two, that's an entry. Daniel got two, that's an entry. EA got two, that's an entry. Mark with a C got two, that's an entry. Mark with a K got two, yes, that's an entry. Uh, Stephen K won six in the filler, that's three entries. Steve got two teams, that's an entry, and Tristan got two teams, that is an entry. All right, so let me just spot check this. So we got Adams three, got Alejandro, got Brett, got Daniel, got EA, got Mark, uh, Mark S, Mark L, um, Stevens three, Steve, Tristan. Let's gather these names, new dice, new list, name on top, Spurs. Three and a three, six the hard way. Name on top after six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six times, there you go, Adam. After six, you have the Spurs. Now we can print. And now we can rip. Fresh case. Last case we have in the store. We don't have any more Topps Chrome Basketball. I think between all of our streaming platforms, Fanatics Live, Instagram, and right here on YouTube, that's it. We've worked through our allotments. We might get more, but I can't assure you that that will be at the same price. I think the prices generally go up on us after new release date, especially for a product that's going to be I think a pretty popular one like this one, but keep your eye out on the jazbeescasebreaks.com. You never know. All right, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll go top three, bottom three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's pull the camera back here. It's two, top two. So these, we'll just mark right over the, the little basketball right here. We'll put a little X right there. So we know that they're from the same case, that they're not mixed up with anything else laying around. So you can see all the X's right there over there. And I know it's a little late, so we'll uh, we'll go a little bit more quickly on the break itself, just so the people who are watching. I know there's some people watching live. I won't want to keep you up too long. Fresh case. Hope springs eternal on these. Next three boxes are, uh, so the other breaks are all loaded up, the other three breaks. So if you kind of notice, hey, this team didn't hit, and they're still available in the next break, maybe give that a shot. You never know. It's not a bad strategy. Uh, LeBron autographs, Victor Wembanyama autographs are all are possibilities. The draft class here, what do you think? It was fairly strong, I want to say. A lot of upside to the draft class. I think the second year will kind of show us a lot on on who some of the the future stars are going to be. But I feel like I feel like this draft class was pretty strong too. Especially if they again if they keep doing what they're doing, it's going to be good for the hobby. You know, or guys that didn't really do much last year, if they emerge this year, 
Could be really nice. There's our first Wembenyama going to uh, Adam and the Spurs. Base version, no refractor. Final printout once again, official. And I think it's two autos a box. And there's Jaime Jaquez, nice. It's one of the, I wish the Lakers had drafted him. He, he made an impact right away. Mark with a C, Mark S. For some reason, the city is not on here, so. I'll make life easy for the shipping team. Former UCLA guy, too. T Mac, Speckle, 240 out of 299. Orlando edition going to EA. Eric Lively had a pretty nice season last year. Josh Giddy Refractor, Malik Monk for Oliver's Kings to 199. Mark with a K has the Kings in this break. Wish the Lakers were able to, to, to re sign that guy. Really? Oliver saying Jaime Hawk is tops only. As well, so yeah, so some good reasons to get into this stuff. Brandon Miller base, uh, Sean Kemp to 349. Seattle stuff will go to OKC, that'll be for Alejandro. Brandon Miller, this is just base, but this will go to EA. Let's see if we can find some refractors, some low numbered cards. Lenny Wilkins to 25, that is Cleveland, this is for you. Daniel with the, uh, with the Cavs. And Jalen Wilson is our other autograph. Jalen Wilson, judging from the jersey, looks like he is a Brooklyn Net. Not sure why they didn't put the cities on. It doesn't say anywhere on the back. Yeah, he is. And that will be for Adam. Adam B and the Nets. Oh, there, if I looked at the next card, I would have known that he's in Brooklyn. And there's Pal Gasol. Nice. 124 at 349. This is Memphis edition of Pal. That's going to be for Tristan. Love Pau Gasol, Coast to Coast, Pascal Siakam. All right, box one, nice start. Next box. All right, onwards. Oliver, do we like this draft class? For anybody, I know Oliver's here, but if there's anyone else who wants to comment on this draft class, Oliver's a ball knower. He knows the hoops. I feel like this this draft class, 2023, is not too bad. Obviously, headlined by Wembenyama. I'm looking at the draft class right now. Here, I'll drop the link in the chat to refresh people's memories. But obviously Wemby, right? Brandon Miller, Scoot Henderson, the Thompson Twins. I don't remember hearing a lot about Anthony Black. How did that, I don't know. But obviously some players that could still look great in their second year and add value to these 2023 breaks, right? Kulabalia, maybe I heard some things about. Jerace Walker, maybe. Taylor Hendricks, Kaysen Wallace. Jed Howard, yeah, Derek Lively I really liked. I think even, I saw Grady Dick in uh, 
in summer league, and he looked really good. I don't know what he's doing with the Raptors last year, but Keontae George did great with the Jazz. Jaime Hawkes, Brandon Pazemski, right? So there's some names out there. You know, and, and and still some guys with a lot of maybe upside. There's Manu to 349 for San Antonio. That'll be for Adam. Yeah, Cydris Sa is saying much better than this year's class, that's for sure. Yeah, does this year's class... I mean, we haven't really seen them in action yet, so it's, but on paper, I think you might be right. There's Andre Jackson Jr., I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Uh, he is a uh, Milwaukee Buck. Still is a Milwaukee Buck. Is a Milwaukee Buck. Steve with the Bucks. Yeah, I, th I feel like after last year's draft and like summer league action, I think there was certainly a lot of excitement about the draft class. You know, there's Cade Cunningham to 299. I went to summer league last year and it wasn't just about Wembenyama. People were excited about seeing the Thompson twins. People were excited about, like that's the buzz I heard. And I spent a day out there watching games. You know, guys like Grady Dick and... Scoot Henderson and Brandon Miller. So there was obviously a little extra buzz when, you know, Victor Wembanyama was around, but there was some buzz for other teams and other players. This year, I don't feel like that was the case. Tyrese Halliburton season's best to 25 for the Pacers. That'll be for Mark, Mark L. So I think, yeah, it's more of a TBD. You know, there's more question marks on who's going to be like the guy that or the guys that jump out and become like you know the Brandon Millers or the Jaime Hawkes is or whatever there's LeBron James finesse insert so hey here's Cam Whitmore he's pretty good too it's for Houston it's going to be for Stephen K nice right, so I like Cam Whitmore that Houston team could be really good real quick Oliver's feeling optimistic that maybe uh, basketball boxes might be cheaper for the 2024 class. Here's Cam Whitmore, um, who a lot of people thought he was 20th overall. A lot of people thought he should have gone higher. I think a lot of people wanted. Uh, I think a lot of people wanted the Lakers to take Cam Whitmore at 17. Here's David Thompson to 199. Denver. Get the Wemby out of thing, but with all the sync people make about unlicensed, it blows me the craze of this stuff. I think uh, I think Panini has done a lot of legwork for getting people used to unlicensed stuff, Jimmy. And now add the uh, add the Wemby effect in a pretty decent draft class, and you know. And you know, the, don't underestimate the branding power of Tops, who's been around for a long time. Chris Middleton for the Bucks. Steve, I think that's that's kind of where we're at. And we got uh, George Gervin, the Iceman, to three forty nine for the Spurs. All right, third box and final. So it won't be won't make people think flawless space worth the same as. I mean, do, do people think Flawless is worth the same as Dynasty? I don't think people, do people think that? I 
I mean, I think people know that, hey, listen, this, this is, this is non-licensed, you know? And I think people will, will look at this the same way. But I think with Victor Wembanyama autos and LeBron autos and stuff like that, I think that it does get people excited about this. In, in spite of the non-license. It is a little, I'll be honest with you, I'm so used to tops being licensed all the time that it is a little jarring to see the non-licensed stuff, but you know, maybe the design is okay, maybe a little too simple, but here's uh, to 149, Christian Leitner. But people are hungry for top hoops. Sales have been brisk for this. Julian Phillips. Uh, who I believe is a bull. Hey, they must be short prints. I haven't seen any LeBron. Uh, uh, Julian Phillips. Trade to Chicago via Washington. Right. So he's got a Bulls uni on. Adam with the Bulls. Robert Parrish, a little color match, 93 out of 99. And I don't know, let's see where secondary market values kind of, they're always pretty high, you know, first week or so, and then and they kind of settle down a little bit and kind of settle into what the pricing is going to be. So we'll see how the secondary market reacts. But hey, nice Scoot Henderson. Who's got Portland? Raymond with the Trailblazers. So we're getting some nice rookies here. Got that Cam Whitmore, the Scoot Henderson. Or sorry, the uh, Raptor, that's for Mark. I'm losing my mind here. Mark with the Raptors. Blazers. What, what, what am I? What am I doing here? It's the end of my night. My brain is definitely not in basketball mode right now. Raymond with the Trailblazers. Yeah, I mean, my brain's in baseball mode, football mode. There he is. Gotta get my head. Got my. Gotta get my head in, in basketball mode. Town Horton Tucker to two ninety nine. And there's Scoot. Yeah, I hear you, Jimmy. But I ultimately, it's whatever the. Uh, see that Conte George refractor was not too bad. That's for Utah for Adam, but I guess ultimately it's the classic, it's whatever someone's willing to pay. There's Jason Tatum to 99. And sales have been pretty brisk for this in secondary market, so far so good. It's Jason Tatum. Season's best for the Celtics, Stephen K. I, there's a card stuck behind there, but there wasn't. Colby Jones is 75. And there is... Tim Hardaway Jr., 43 out of 3, 49 for Dallas. That's going to be for the Mav. That's Alejandro. And there you have it, gang. 
Nice little break of Topps Chrome Basketball, three box. Uh, pick your team, nine. I mean, we got the Jaime Jaquez was nice. The Cam Whitmore, the Scoot Henderson, the Victor Bass. Um, still a lot of case to go and a lot of big hit possibilities, so keep going on it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Next three-box break is up. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next basketball break. Bye-bye.